One of the scientists went so crazy, he ended up putting a rope around his head, getting in the car, driving off, and literally ripped his own head off. He got started getting in the to chemtrails, trying to figure out what they was, and he actually found out what they were. It didn't turn out good for him, that he had people following him, and like all types of bad stuff happening to him, demonic attacks. He had like weird people following him and trying to take him out, poisoning his garden. He lives like in the outskirts off the grid, you know what I'm saying? So he has his own little farm and stuff. Long story short, they tried to poison him by putting poison on his vegetables and fruits outside his house. They were sending witches and warlocks and witchcraft and, and demonic attacks towards him. But he's still here, you know what I'm saying? He's still with us and he's still teaching his truth. So, boom, I'm gonna get into it. Black goo, what is black goo? So according to him and a lot of many others, black goo, there's two types of black goo. The original black goo is inside of Mother Earth. It's inside of Gaia, it's in Earth, which is the, the natural organic black goo, which is supposedly like an artificial intelligence. It almost like holds the memories of all of our world, all of our past existences, all of the the whole history of Mother Earth and everything that has taken place here. Original black goo is love. It's pure love. It's a liquid that holds all the memories of all time here on Earth. All planets have their own aura and they have their own spirits, just like we do. He's saying that planets are just like us. They have their own spirit, their own aura, and their own energy. The other black goo is supposed to be evil, and it's not from this earth. It's not of our planet. According to him, it came here on a 